A career criminal and convicted killer who has caught break after break is once again being trusted by the courts and is likely to be released from custody in the coming weeks. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us why. In 1990, Martin Copeland was convicted of second degree murder in Tennessee. He has been arrested time after time since then. You'll remember him from a story we did last year when Copeland was charged with breaking and entering after a woman came home to find him asleep in her bed. I came in and they were just sitting there. They're just sitting in, my, in one of my bedrooms. That was last January. The case was dismissed. But Copeland was arrested three more times between August and October for burglary. In October, Judge Stan Whitaker decided to keep him locked up until trial. I think it's been interesting at this point in time, the way people protect their houses and homes and have the right to do so, that he hasn't been injured. However, Copeland was eventually found incompetent to stand trial. Today, he was back in court, the state arguing he was too dangerous to be released, asking that same judge to send Copeland to the state psychiatric hospital in Las Vegas, where he'd be held and treated. But Judge Whitaker did not grant that motion. I need to be pretty darn certain. I mean, that's the second highest standard that we have in the, in the justice system, uh, that, um, that he's going to go out and, and commit a crime or commit an act that's going to inflict great bodily harm. I just don't think that, that that's been the case. But he's not being let go just yet. Copeland will be held for seven days, while the prosecutor petitions to have him committed by the Department of Health. However, the prosecutor doesn't sound confident. I don't think it's likely they will seek civil commitment based on these charges. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. Copeland will be held for seven days. If the Department of Health does not agree to a civil commitment, this case will be dismissed.